Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this fully loaded 2017 Heartland North Trail 33 BKSS Triple Slide Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. Go ahead and get started on the inside and then finish up by showing you the outside. Exterior length is 36 feet 10 inches and the exterior height to the air conditioners is 11 feet 6 inches. And this coach weighs empty, or the dry weight, when it came off the assembly line. Little telltale sticker, little yellow sticker here on the usually on the door frame, inside door frame, right here. Seven thousand eight hundred and eighty-two pounds is what this camper weighs empty. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. Okay, this is a triple slide bunkhouse floor plan. First slide out, it's going to be a super slide. Uh, it's going to, oh gosh, be at least uh, 12 foot long and it's three foot deep. Accommodates the hide to bed sleeper sofa, which is an ultra leather finish, and the booth dinette. And that makes into a bed. Show, in, show off those fabrics here. Uh, all the fabrics inside seem to be in excellent condition. I did notice a little hole in one of the little mattresses back in the bunkhouse room. I'll show that to you. But uh, other than, than that, uh, seems to be a pretty clean little camper. Boot dinette here, U-shaped boot dinette. Breaks down into a bed. You could easily sleep two grown adults on that when it breaks down into a bed. Kind of show off the fabrics and the colors. It's going to be like a really dark blue, maybe even a navy blue and some tan finishes and you do have uh, night shades all throughout show off the cabinets here I'm not sure what they're calling this cabinetry maybe some kind of a maple finish and your hardware is going to be a uh, it's going to be like a brushed nickel finish on all your hardware okay in the kitchen area here, uh, all your countertops are all solid surface. They're not the laminate or the Fomica tops. This is a solid surface coin style cabinet or countertops. And you do have a uh, show off the, see if it shows up. Little LED light accent underneath here. Nice island kitchen here. Show off the drawers up underneath there and this is going to be the double bowl stainless steel sink nice uh, mowing style sprayer faucet there oh I do want to point out the kind of a residential style lighting in the bath, uh, kitchen also and this is going to be your second slide out second slide out is going to be the refrigerator and the stove, oven, and microwave that all slides out. The slide's going to be about uh, maybe eight foot long and about two and a half foot deep. Show off those cabinets again. Uh, brush nickel finish. Solid wood drawer fronts. Again, solid surface countertops. And you do have a glass range glass range little lid cover here uh, most of your manufacturers aren't going to offer that so a three burner gas cooktop front one's probably usually going to be a high output nice suburban gas oven microwave and more storage there it looks like kind of a etched glass finish on some of the drawer fronts your refrigerator looks like it's going to be probably a six cubic foot refrigerator, gas and electric. It's automatic also, you just turn it on a couple hours later. Whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, you've got a cold fridge. Oh, 110. Outlets here. And oh, the little switch for the accent lighting is right here. 
up underneath here turn that off another 110 outlet right here welcome back to the rear you do have of course this is going to be your your bath walk through bath to get outside if you want you have that option foot flush porcelain toilet or china toilet not a plastic toilet and nice tub and shower and with skylight I do know the owners were talking about getting uh, a new shower curtain it's starting to show some age uh, this camper they've the owners they, they are the original owners they bought it new and um, they bought it about two years ago and the only reason why they're selling it is they're downsizing they're selling their house and uh, priorities have changed okay this is going to be your third slide out in the bunkhouse area and basically this is a two bedroom and uh, your third uh, slide that's going to be about six foot long and definitely about uh, two and a half maybe three foot deep and it's going to be your bunk and this folds up and locks away when not in use uh, this bunk is rated at 200 pounds there's the rating right there and this lower uh, bunk area this is uh, set up as a couch right now for watching TV and you can break this down and make it into a nice double bed there's the uh, little hole that I noticed it's a non-issue but you know, usually it's going to be covered up anyway and uh, when you're sitting down here in the couch area that's where your TV would go in your gaming system nice closets on each side of the bed nice ladder to get up on your loft or bunk area opposing the slide out uh, this camper is fully loaded let's put this uh, ladder back up here so being it fully loaded uh, this is a 50 amp service coach uh, a lot of them were 30 amp but this is the upgraded 50 amp service and it is equipped with dual ACs this one's probably going to be a 13,500 BTU AC unit. The one in the living room is probably going to be a 15,000. I'm just assuming. Oh, I do want to point out carpet. It's in excellent condition. The owners have not had a chance to detail this trailer. Uh, we're in the middle of winter right now. We're in February. And uh, this is the first warm day we've had since we've had sub-zero weather. So they have not had a chance to clean it or detail it. An idea of that floor plan here before I start moving forward. There's your 15,000 BTU AC unit, and everything's all ducted all the way through. Your furnace, your furnace is all ducted, and it's probably going to be a 35,000 BTU furnace. It might even be a 40, but I'm going to assume it's a 35,000 BTU TV here. Flat screen TV, it's probably a 36 inch or 32 inch, and this does spin around. Uh, so you can watch it in the living room and then in the evening if you're sleeping in the master bedroom there spin that around you can watch TV in the master bedroom pretty neat concept and when you're done you can spin it back around and just pin that right back in you're good to go stereo is going to be uh, CD DVD Bluetooth ready let's zoom in on this that Purian stereo uh, smart device hookup ready Looks like you get HDMI plug in right there. It's going to be your slide buttons right here. And again, the etched glass finish. Speed the video up. Okay. Uh, this is going to be your master bedroom, queen bed. And you do have LED light accent above the headboard. Or as the, just right, uh, actually, it's accenting the headboard. Closets on each side of the bed, more inch glass finish. That's where your TV would go when you spin it around. And the bed lifts up, and there's storage up underneath. I did check this camper for water damage, any wear and tear. Uh, I would definitely uh, rate this uh, great condition. Uh, okay, let's speed this video up.
coach is a full aluminum frame construction, fully enclosed heated underbelly, so all your holding tanks are all protected from the elements. Uh, you do have a front molded painted fiberglass front cap. Easier to clean. You don't have to worry about water damage up there because those fiberglass caps, they pretty much eliminate any chance of getting water damage in the front. Uh, you do have a power hitch jack, battery, uh, LP tank uh, covers, and storage here with slam latch baggage doors little magnets holds it holds up the baggage door or compartment door these are going to be your buttons for your uh lippert um uh, power uh, stabilizer jacks they've got this thing loaded down pretty good slam latch baggage doors gotta love them and the uh, finish is going to be uh high gloss fiberglass finish again it's a, a full aluminum frame construction North Trail caliber by Heartland, and uh, this coach is equipped with the with the wide track system. Uh, the wheels are set wider apart, more for stability driving down the road. 15-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Put my signature chrome nitro caps on on them instead of the cheap little plastic green ones. These are chrome uh, caps on the wheels. Pretty neat little feature. And your awning is dirty. This coach has not been detailed. I believe it's going to be a 16-foot awning. Again, it is just dirty. There's, it's pretty much excellent condition. And power outlet here. Uh, it's going to be your tank flush, uh, probably for your toilet to clean out your toilet. Uh, you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore. There's your dual entry. So if somebody has to go to the bathroom, they don't have to, or use the facilities. They don't have to trot through the living room. They can go right straight to the bathroom right here pretty neat concept uh, grab handle outside kitchen with like a dorm style fridge close that up nice sink oh and they do give you a nice little LED light uh, all the lights on this coach are all LED nice flat screen little flat screen TV there for you and uh, well, this door is on a gas strut assist and slam latch baggage doors again we're calling it the Outdoor Party Center, Heartland Advantage. Back up here, I did not find any uh, delamination issues, which is water damage. I did not find any. Uh, I checked for scratches and stuff like that. Uh, it's just normal wear and tear. There's really no scratches or anything on this, other than the fact that it's dirty. Uh, oh, you do have a crowned roof. Forgot to point that out on the inside, so you've got more headroom. And plus, uh, on the outside, it's good, better for water runoff. You do have a gas grill hookup right here. This swings out. You can put a gas grill on this. That's a pretty neat feature. And uh, you do have this pulls out. This whole bumper pulls out about uh, about three foot, and uh, you can store all sorts of stuff on there. And I think it may be rated at uh, 200 pounds, maybe. I forgot to pull it out, but there's cutter pins, pulls out and pulls out. Uh, spare tire with cover, it probably was an option. Oh, got to point it out. Outside shower, hot and cold running water, uh, city water hookup, cable hookup here. And you do have tinted windows. I believe it's going to be probably an 80% tint on the windows. And your slide outs on the back side here uh, again this is uh, fully loaded and as I said it's 50 amp service this is your 50 amp marine style power cord detaches roll it up stow it away you're good to go uh, this is gonna be your furnace exhaust not sure the size of the furnace probably more than likely a 35,000 BTU but it might even be a 40 um, show your dumping station here and all your holding tanks and your gate valves here's your gate valves they're all enclosed and protected, so you can go into extended seasons on this camper. Tires are all in good condition. Back up here, kind of show off what it looks like on the back side. There's your dual AC units. Okay, and your holding tanks, I believe, are 37 gallon each on your toilet and your shower, your gray tank and your black tank. Your fresh water tank, that's your gravity fill for your fresh water, I believe it's going to be a 52 gallon uh, fresh water holding tank on this coach. Your six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater, flip a switch on, uh, whether you're boondocking 
or you hooked up to shore power, uh, you pretty much are set up uh, 10 minutes later with hot water. And show those power stabilizer jacks. You can show off that enclosed underbelly. There's a low point drain valve for your cold water right there. Easy to winterize. Show off that North Trail badge there. It is dirty. Uh, it does need to be cleaned. So I think if a dealer was going to take this in on trade, I think they would definitely rate it one through ten. Ten being the best, I think they would definitely rate it a definitely. I think a nine. Okay. All right. And if I forgot anything, I do apologize. Here we go. There's a solar hookup right there. If you want that option, you have it. All right. All right. If I forgot something, I do apologize. Uh, this is pretty much fully loaded for a North Trail. Uh, anyway, uh, if you want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner, you can always follow Help Sell My RV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Thank you.